All right, so what's up guys? Today I'm doing another explore video. What's up guys? I'm out here in Tonopah, Nevada. I stayed in the Mizpah Hotel last night. We are gonna go down to Goldfield and check out the old hotel. All right, so for this first part of Goldfield, we went out and explored some of the mines. Uh, there was a lot of cool stuff out there. We probably could have spent all day out there uh, going around to the different mines. I mean, there was literally tons from where you could see from where we were just flying the drone around. If you've never heard of Goldfield, Nevada before, it used to be one of the biggest cities in Nevada, in the West Coast, actually, and uh, it was a gold town. Okay, so Goldfield was founded in 1902. It had a population of 30,000 during its boom year of 1906, and it produced 11 million in gold. The town has the longest bar in history. The bar Tex Rickards Northern was so long, it required 80 tenders to serve its customers. So the Earp brothers, Wyatt and Virgil, uh, who are famous lawmen back in the day, they made the movie Tombstone about them. After they left the OK Corral and Tombstone, they moved out to Goldfield in 1904. In 1905, Goldfield suffered its first major fire when a stove exploded in the millinery shop. Three months later, Virgil contracted pneumonia and died. Wyatt left Nevada shortly after Virgil's death and spent many years mining in the Whipple Mountains on the California side of the Colorado River. He died on January 13, 1929 at the age of 80. All right, so we hiked up this hill. Sorry if the wind is really loud. Um, but looks like there's this old water tower up here. It's pretty cool looking. Just kind of dug into the side of the mountain. But anyway, look at all the mines that were out here at one point. Looks like another planet almost. Another planet where they're mining. But anyways, we're gonna fly the drone around here and uh, check it out since they they do tours here so this is kind of commercialized and uh, they don't really want us on the property anyways So there's that building over there. And this is where the entrance to the mine was. That's about as close as I can get. Surprised they don't have this more uh, protected or... Uh, this smells really bad of sulfur. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really. I can't really get much closer than that. But that's where the entrance of this mine was. There's where we're flying the drone from, from the top of that hill over there. Uh, and then there's town. I think there's one more spot we want to check out up here. Even though it looks like there is a lot. Look at That's a hole to a mine there. Looks like that's a hole to a mine there pretty cool place oh, another entrance to a mine shaft we're now that's where we were there's my car right there uh, but yeah we're still checking this out it looks like there might be an entrance to a mine over here so we're just gonna look see what's going on all right so we found the entrance to uh, looks like the beginning of a mine 
Ah, oh, someone was mining something down in here. Oh, looks like it hasn't been used too much as an animal nest. But it looks like someone possibly was digging back in here for something. Who knows what? Who knows what? That looks like, yeah, chipped away there, up in there. I wonder what they used to chip up in there. But, uh, it doesn't look like too much going on in here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Ert brothers lived here. The biggest reason we went out here though was for the haunted hotel. And it was kind of weird. There was a tour guide going. So someone recently has moved into the area and they own, asked the owners of the hotel if they would allow them to show tours in the area. When I was trying to film this, kept walking in front of my camera and kept trying to like get in the picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show clips of what the inside of the Goldfield Hotel looks like. The tour, I'm going to leave the information in the description about how to go on that tour if you want. They also said that they allow, I think she said like $500, they allow you to stay the night and they do uh, paranormal activity investigations. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go check it out. Okay, so here's the ghost story behind the Goldfield Hotel. The original owner, his name was George Wingfield. Um, and he had an office on the first floor that's reportedly haunted by the, his ghost. Supposedly you can smell cigar smoke and piles of fresh ashes that have been found there. Um, his presence has been felt near the lobby staircase along with that of a, of a midget and two small children. The children are said to be pranksters sneaking up behind people and tapping on their backs before giggling and dancing away. Some have claimed that room 109 is haunted by the presence of a pregnant woman chained to a, a radiator. Rumors say that George Winfield had an affair with a prostitute named Elizabeth. When she became pregnant, she begged George to leave his wife and marry her. Unwilling to do so, George chained Elizabeth to the radiator until she gave birth. She was left in the room to die, and the baby was thrown down an old mine shaft at the northeast end of the basement. Alright, so what's up guys? We're here at the Goldfield Hotel. This is supposed to be a haunted hotel. So this first part, this is the lobby. They have changed a lot, uh, apparently. Um, so you wouldn't really be able to notice, but it's not originally what it looks like. But the floor there with the tiles, that is all original. And this safe up here is also one of the original safes that was kept there for uh, when people needed to keep their belongings. <laughs> Alright, this Over second room that's, that's under construction, this is a woman's so room. Uh, basically a woman's uh, rest area, uh, large bathroom here. type area. It just, was just for the ladies. And had all the privacy they wanted, but this is where Shirley, remember that name, Shirley, because I'll be using it quite a bit on this tour, but um, she and her family lived in here for a short time. Alright, so this first hallway area was where George Winfield's office was uh this is where the paranormal investigators said that they think that the girl was chained i wanted to come back and get more footage but unfortunately i couldn't this is the only footage of that area on the first floor that i could get And then coming up here, we're just kind of going to go through a lot of con different construction and then uh, we're going to get down to the basement where they say the, the baby was thrown down into one of these mine shafts. She did say that she doesn't know how true that is, 
because um, these mine shafts were also used to go back and forth between the red light district. So if there was anybody that was wealthy or anything like that, and they didn't want to be seen taking a horse there or whatnot, then they can go in these underground tunnels and come up in another building over there and no one would ever know that they went that way. But this was done in the 80s. All this large granite on the walls, this is all original granite. Uh, you can see in here another doorway. So what this huge doorway was, was a way for them to get supplies from the street into the hotel. And they would lower it down and then bring it into the hotel there. Okay, so here uh, is where the mine shaft used to be. Uh, now it has been all filled in, but that's supposedly where Elizabeth's baby was thrown. Uh, it's like private baths. Yeah, this is where the richer men got to come and have their private little area. So how, is this going to be restored in some way? I don't know what he's going to do with it. Okay. I'm thinking it would be really cool to have a gym down here. No, but yeah. I have no idea. But here's the staircase. Oh wow, the, this one goes up to the the bar. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I know. Crazy, huh? Like they must do that on purpose. Like, I'm sure they It must be like a builder. <laughs> yeah. So go back that way. There's more of these toilets and probably other baths. This was one of the original signs that was up there, so that's kind of cool to see. This has been here since, it, you know, yeah. there's no way. It's going to be old paint. Yeah. So this is called the Cigar Cave or the Humidor. Oh. So this is where they sold the high dollar cigars and whiskey. What are the holes in the ground? Those are, um, they weren't this deep, but you'd bring in barrels of cigars and stuff, and they just set the barrels there so they wouldn't oh, topple. Stay cool. Oh, so they wouldn't topple. Right. So um, sometimes the barrels weren't made, so they'd just sit still. It's really neat. And the reason... Here's the back side of the hotel from inside of one of the hotel rooms. Windows, they open from top to bottom or from bottom to bottom. Alright, so this is one of the larger hotels is what the inside of the hotel room would have looked like. Um, a lot of them weren't this big, she said. Originally would have just been like one area you might share a bathroom. But this was one of the higher priced hotels. Hotel rooms. Uh, rooms in. I mean, even these were huge back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they had bathrooms. That was amazing because even even the rich people who built their homes here, they had home houses. They rarely had a bathroom. I haven't seen any of the houses that were built back then that had a bathroom. Okay, so t I guess two other ghosts have been seen in the Goldfield Hotel by more than a dozen people, and that's in quotes. One is thought to be a woman who hanged herself in a room on a third floor, and the other of is that of an unidentified man who reportedly committed suicide by jumping off the roof of the hotel. Some say the hotel is one of several portals to the other side that exists in the modern world. Ghost hunters digging for paranormal gold may find that Goldfield is a real nugget. And that was an article I read on angelsandghosts.com written by Walter Bissell. Okay, so this place was made famous by the Ghost Adventures crew 
who did a show in here in one of their first episodes, and they got footage of a brick flying across a, a room, uh, and they were scared out of the hotel. Um, if you know anything about Ghost Adventures, you can watch that, or you might have already seen it. Um, kind of interesting. All right, guys, so I think that's where I'm going to end the video. Um, here's Goldfield. I was going to go in there and explore some more. It looks like she's giving more tours. Um, you're not allowed to go to the third and fourth floor, uh, but I'll still put the footage that I got anyways. Um, I got some good footage of inside. I didn't see any ghosts, um, but it's cool to be down here in Goldfield. We got to look at some cool mines, and uh, yeah, just a cool place to be. So. I'll put a link in the description to the tours that they run here, so if you're ever around in the area, you can get a tour as well. And um, yeah, that'll be it. I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.